All right, I forgot to hit. Hmm? I forgot to hit record. I am very sorry, but hey, it's it's anime time. It's Dagger Tainted Judas time. Such a satisfying character. Zooming with his dagger through enemies like it's nothing. It's just like the thousand degree knife meme. I I can't believe I forgot to hit record. That's the first time it have happened to me. Oh yeah. Just satisfying. Oh there we have it again. It's it's so this probably on a satisfying tier this is characters probably on top. Like there's not really many characters that can compete. Ba -ba 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 -bam! Got all of them. Or oh, most of them. Okay, I I just got one here. Yeah, it's just getting as many enemies as possible for the giga damage up. Oh. Oh, okay. That was not bad. That was not bad. Now in here for Min Min. Oh, yeah. Big damage. It's, it's just fun. Oh, and there's a deal with... <laughs> That's free. Enough geeking about this character. I think my, my very first tainted character was Isaac. I I for sure know that. But I think my second one was Judas. I was so thrilled to play him. And overall he's for me he set the standard for all the tainted characters. Which for some it got disappointed obviously. But for most of them they are just as fun. But look at that. Just beautiful. Is, is someone asked me to show like one or two characters in this game, one of the characters would definitely be Tainted Judas. And he's not just fun, he's also super useful. You can just go into curse rooms for free, in and out. And to be honest, I'm not sure where I want to go, because there's some crazy things you can do on some bosses. Ooh, like, for example, on the mother boss. You can do so much stuff with the dagger, going through all her tiers and getting like 20 plus damage up. Or you can go to Mega Satan, just stand in his bullet patterns and just suck in all those bullets for the sweet damage. Oh yes. So I'm, I'm still not so sure where I want to go. <laughs> it's big damage. Such a lovely character. Item room for Yakhart, I guess. Ah, that's not interesting. But for now, enough geeking around. I, I've been doing and saying too much. This character is fun, but I know, I, I've, I've said enough. So I'm gonna stop. I'm still thinking about where I want to go. It's definitely one of those two. Either Mega Satan or Mother. But to be honest, I, I'm kind of feeling the Mother route. We're currently on, I think this is run number 6, just because we lost our, I think, a 15th win streak. But looking at the roster ahead, there's some cool entries. But the next one, for example, is the Blue Baby. And I, I'm not so sure how that one will go. I'm not that confident playing him. Okay, I, I got hit right there, that's not that good. But we should have him now. No big problem. Oh, especially with that. And friends still here. PhD is doing big work currently. But no deal and there's nothing interesting here. So let's just continue. There's also not really much to talk about right here. Other than maybe the online beta. To be honest, I kind of want to play the online beta, but not right now. I'm still waiting for a little bit. Especially there was some... Um, so bad things happening lately with the beta and yeah I'm, I'm letting everyone else find out first before I'm also going into the the mix. There are these other completion marks in I think they are purple and they're kind of tempted to get. I, I just don't know how online will be or if I'm gonna like it. But the thing is having three full 
Oh, there's a Tinder Rock. But having few, three full save files, but not played co op, that's kind of weird. So, and, and I will try it. And having full purple marks is the ultimate flex on all on all three files. Ooh, the Eternal Heart. Cool. Ooh, mmm. But outside of the online beta and online overall in Isaac, I still have a few other plans which I wanna do. It's and I, I had an emptiness after completing my save files and I didn't know what to do for like a long time. But then I just had multiple ideas and I was like, yeah, that's actually then I, I, I could do that. And then I just started up Isaac like one or two months ago and warming up and then playing now. But yeah, the post-game depression hit hard on this one. There are not many games with such post-game depression. Other games that hit so hard were... Yeah, there are your typical ones like maybe Elden Ring or some of the Zelda games. Or like some nostalgia games from back in the day. You played... Everyone has their nostalgia game. So yeah, but I'm really happy that I actually came back and I'm just continuing playing. This is such a great game. I'm obviously saying that. Because I have so many hours and and I can actually play the game. Okay, I just said I can play the game and I took a few hits of damage. That's not good. But anyway, there we have the knife piece and the key piece. Both of the items I actually wanted. And I think we're taking the blue bear with us and not the coupon. We got enough money, we got enough HP, depending on what's happening. I'm... Obviously not talking about the ideas that I have. I'm keeping them for me until I'm doing them. So stay excited. That was just crazy damage. Wow. He stood no chance. I'm zooming. This is I'm I don't even wanna play fast. It's just I'm clearing this room super quick. But okay. And I'm also I got decent items. Sure, I, they could be better. And maybe I could min-max a few. But I'm also not that lucky. There's just one quality 4. And that's Mida. Should I take it? Probably not. Oh! Or should I reroll? Hold on. What's the what's the dice room? To be honest, for the fun. Yeah, I, I don't know what to think about this. I do have some batteries on the floor, so let's go grab those. By the way, look at the Glyph of Balance, it's it's damn rare. He, he also has just the best costumes. There's some videos on YouTube that show all the character costumes and he legitimately has microwave costumes. And whatever, no, scream and stuff like that. Now we have, oh, oh, what's my tier rate? Oh, that's not good. One more. Oh yeah, that looks great actually. I'm keeping this. Hopefully we get something good to deploy, like a double brimstone for example. Ooh. Or an angel with sacred heart and godhead duplicate so I can grab both. Ooh. Oh, with marbles. Oh, okay, now, now I can take more trinkets. That's true. Oh, stop taking damage. That's the angel deals, some thoil, that's perfect. And some suits, oh, that, that's fine. Still nothing to deploy, that's kind of sad. Look at my face, just talking about outfits. It's kind of creepy. Wait, I killed him! How did I kill a mask? But I've never seen that before. Wait, I legitimately have no idea how I just did that. Also, look at my coins, that's nice. Let's actually donate a little bit more money. There's not much I can buy. That's quite a lot. Speed and shot speed, it's... Uh, I don't need both of those, but it's one transformation. Let's just take it. With even more shot speed, sure. Alright, this looks like the way to the boss, yeah. And we had the item room, we had the shop. Secret room. 
I guess then it's time to go in here. They went decently well. Let's take the Polaroid for a change. Ah, man. And I've decided we're going in here. And that immediately took some damage. What the fuck? Come on. To do a cool pattern. I wanna rush through. Okay, that wasn't that cool. It's just way cool attacks. But we will get some real anime action on the mother boss. Oh, that would that would that would be insane. But okay, I hope we are getting something to the Propia. Something, please. Oh, oh you're kinda late. Sure. Man. I wanted you earlier to run, but that's fine. What's this stapler? Alright, what do we have in here? A surprise boss fight? Don't mind if I do. Nah, we're just taking the stapler normally. And we have the speed aura from purity. I just realized we have purity. The teal stuff aura would be amazing. That would be my favorite. Oh, there's a sacrifice room. I have perks. So to be honest, yes, I'm playing in there. Okay, can you stop? Soul heart, please. No. We don't have the holy metal. Yes, we grow it. So that was kind of stupid. Yeah, sad. I, I would have more of that. Oh, -ho! um, yes. Wait, I did poop here this? Wait, did that make sense? Wait, it didn't make any sense. Doesn't matter. Oh, <laughs> all right. Sad, but we can't really take it. It's the only item we have in here. But if we can charge it again and we roll, 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 we can maybe get a an R key or something. Oh, this girl has some cool patterns. And. Yeah. Real nice. Inner child, no thanks. Come on, with second off, it should be that hard. I'm also taking a death certificate. I don't mind. Oh, and there's also a sacrifice room. And we. Oh, we probably can't play in there. To be honest, I don't know how much I like my run. So I'm thinking about actually D100ing in the secret room. Oh, thanks for the eternal heart. That's the second one. That, there, that way I can reroll my items and the item in there. So my second drop would possibly be something else quality for energy deal. Wink, wink. And in the end, I still have my dagger. My dagger will carry me through the mother fight. Alright, for some extra fun. Oh, that was loud for a second. Oh. Oh, okay, that's not good. What does Epic Fetus do? I actually don't know. Let's find out. Ah, oh, just... It just overrides everything. Epic Fetus, man, it's it's such a sad item, please. Please give it some synergies. But yeah, let's go in here. And let's get hit. Oh, they're disappearing. Oh, I pressed my dagger, I wasn't sure. Come on, do the suck attack. Yes. Suck in and then throw at me. Oh! Oh, and that killed her. Nice. But yeah, that was the run. Kinda fun. Plus with some mother again. But alright, that was it. Next up will be Blue Baby. That's a kinda annoying character. But sure. See you next time.